All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forza. Um, actually, what I maybe I'll do? Maybe I'll get rid of the overlay line for tonight. I don't think we need it. Yeah, there we go. Welcome back to Forza Horizon Four. Uh, I haven't played this game in a couple weeks. Last time I played, it, I did a five-hour session. I basically beat the main story campaign. But as you can see, what's happening is every week there's a new season in game. We're now in the springtime season for this week, which is kind of cool. Um. I guess what we'll do... It says like there's something new in the garage. Ooh, one of my barn finds is available from last time I played. Let's take a look at that. Which one is it? The Lotus? No, I have the Lotus. Is it a new one? Oh? I guess maybe I didn't have the Lotus previously. No, it still, it still says barn find one. And I go in here, and there's no barn find. Okay, we're going to ignore that. Um, Alright. Uh, let's take a look at the map, I guess. Right? Let's see where we want to go. Do I want to keep doing those stump missions I was doing last time? I don't know. Also, do I need to turn on the royalty free music again? I might have to. Let's check. Let's see if it's saved or if I have to set the royalty free music on again. Streamer mode was off. Now it's on. The good news is I think it was playing the royalty free music anyway. Horizon Life. Message center? Oh boy, what is this? A gift. Gifted VIP super wheel spins. You've been gifted four super wheel spins. Cool. Let's see what these are. Okay. Oh my god, my first wheel spin, I actually got a vehicle. I got a t-shirt, a, a Ford off-road truck, and a drum fill fucking horn, which is worthless. But Fred Flintstone just cheered 50 bits. He says, pet potion for the lads. Okay, hold on, Fred. I actually got a car. Can you believe it? Let's spin again. What the fuck? My, my, oh my god, now my keyboard stopped working. All right, I got the DJ moving emote bullshit, the bois horn, and going home uh, horn. So completely worthless. Can we get this fucking keyboard to work now? Okay. What the fuck? So thank you, Fred, for the 50-bit cheer. You are the top cheerer for tonight. Thank you. All right, spin again. Wow, I almost got a car. Almost. Instead, I got a cash register horn, galaxy slip-ons, and Black Willie's fucking boots. Oh, my God. All right, last spin. Oh, my God. Pink biker boots, ba base arena tank top, and the archer emo. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. <sighs> okay. How do I change my appearance? I don't remember. I just hit rank 8 car collector because I, I got a car out of one of those. How do I go back into the house? I gotta go over here. Because I want to change my appearance before we start tonight. DJ Runo Trudy said, fucking gambling and racing games, that's a fucking... Thanks a fucking lot, Need for Speed. <laughs> yeah, Need for Speed who did the loot boxes originally, right? Here we go. Customize my character. Yes. Yes. Alexander Rossi asks, would I recommend people buy this game? Absolutely. If you're looking for a game with great graphics and a lot of variety of cars and a lot of chill stuff, this is the game for you. All right, so let's change to all the new stuff. We've got the base arena tank top. Let's give him the glossy red parka, because it's spring, he needs the parka, right? 
Give him those fucking skin tight VIP trousers. Nah, I don't know. Let's see. Just roll jeans. Oh, I already had him. Oh, we'll put back the snow leopard leggings. We got to. On his feet. Okay. Do we want the leopard boots to match the jeans, or do we want the new? Now we'll put on the new black wellies. What happened? I wasn't done. Go back in. I wasn't done. So Caliber 6 was good, Derek. Although by the end of my stream, it was getting pretty difficult. There were some really challenging fights and really cheap shit that the game was throwing at me. But in general, I had, I had fun playing it. I'm looking forward to more tomorrow. Oh, here we go. Green top hat for the spring. <laughs> the festival shades. I still haven't unlocked anything for the nose. No cocaine. I haven't unlocked any yet. Oh, we'll go to the brown leather gloves. Those are new. Here we go. This guy looks great now. Look. Oh, now, of course, we need the new emotes. Hold on. We have the DJ. What's the DJ? Oh, my God. The archer? Oh, there we go. Our two new emotes. I had to equip them. You knew I had to equip them. Oh, KDS, I don't know anything about muscle cars. Ask me what's what the best old school muscle car. I have no idea. I'm the last person to ask about that stuff. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> okay. Demon DJ says, look out for the seasonal barn find. All right. DJ Bruno says, every game has to become Fortnite now. I don't know about every game, but apparently this game has to. <laughs> this game has all the Fortnite shit in it. All right, so where do I want to go? What, about, what am I near, first of all? I'm actually near... Over here, there's a circuit, right? The world's fastest rentals. Let's do that. Let's go try this new circuit, see what this is. And along the way, I'll try to hit up these billboards if I can. Okay. <clears throat> We're on our way. We've got something new to do. <clears throat> How dare you, Orion Rogue? He says, that's better than the jazz hand. Nothing's better than the jazz hands. I beg to differ. Jazz hands is the quintessential uh, emo. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh. Okay. Turn around when it is safe to do yes, so. Yes, yes, uh, Derek. I did see the May Young Classic this week. I just saw it last night, actually. Recalculating. Route. Yeah, it was rough to watch, to say the least. That nasty injury. Okay, Diaz asks, what are the gaming releases I'm most excited for this year? I mean, at this point, it's pretty obvious Red Dead Redemption 2. And then I would probably say maybe Darksiders 3. And that's really it. Like, there's other games coming out, but I'm not, like, super hyped for them. So if they're good, great. But if they're not, ain't that big of a deal, you know? Holy, dude, this car is insanely fast. I can't control it. Holy shit. Super duper quick. I earned a skill point. Alright, that sign's coming up here. Resident Evil 2 Remake is not this year, Hopper. It's next year. That's why I did not mention it. But yeah, I am pumped for that. Alright, where's the sign? There it is. Fast travel. Cool. 400 yards. Turn left. Landscaping. <laughs> Smash Brothers. Yes, I will be playing Smash Brothers, but I'm not super hyped for it. Like, I, I like Smash Brothers. Don't get me wrong. Especially, I heard this this time around. There's gonna be a lot of single player content, which is good. But I'm not like super excited for it. I'm not a Smash Brothers aficionado or anything. Take the first exit. What am I driving? I'm driving the best car. It's awesome. Look at it. It's amazing. You know you like this car. You'd be lying if you said you didn't. Oh, fuck. I hit the handbrake and the car started uh, veering. Alright. Alright, we're gonna do this new circuit. I don't know what it is. Supercars or something, I think they said. 
what's going up down the street here? 400 yards. Turn left. Turn left. World's fastest rentals. You have arrived at your okay. destination. Let's see what this says. Now I know that this investment might look like a lot, but it's worth it. Trust me. Every business you buy will give you a daily payout of their earnings, so there's a nice incentive for you. Okay. This is the perfect location, yeah? It's gonna make us a mint. I've got a waiting list of clients already, but I think we should try out all the cars first. Don't you agree? All right, let's buy it. Yeah, buy the business. My Good uncle decision. crack pack Good just decision. took me two dollars. You and me, <laughs> we're gonna show everyone what world's fastest really means. I have no idea what my uncle crack pack means. That's that's something that someone said like a year ago on stream and like for months after that. All right, here we go. We bought this new circuit. We're gonna try it out. <clears throat> Didn't I have a can't drive license plate in GTA 5? I don't know. I think so. I think it was can't drive. I hear it's I'm blind. What do you think? Lambo. So we've got the premises. I've got the contacts, and you've got. Well, you've got a few minutes to kill before our first client arrives. Let's look at this thing. 2013 Lamborghini Benino. Take the keys and show Horizon what it can do. I want them all talking about us. I want all the right. hunters to know that when we say world's fastest, we mean it. Okay. Just a quick run out to clear Race Manic. to the destination. Oh, and our Two first minutes. On the way, remember? Better step on it. Dude, this looks like a fucking Batmobile. It totally looks like the Batmobile. So every one of these races is going to be a super duper race. Turn right. Okay, here we go. Gotta go super fast to make it. Woo! At the roundabout, take the second exit. Okay then. Fuck, that sucked. Head first into a car. Nice relaxing music. Oh no! I hit a concrete wall randomly. Damn, that fucked me over right there, dude. <clears throat> that really got me in trouble. Almost there. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Nice work. I'll have it picked up and toweled off. And you better vanish before the client sees you. Duh. You're ready for the next one, yeah? I'm thinking something Scandinavian. Completely wrecked the car. <laughs> oh man, KDS. Well, I don't know what would have been the most. What would have been the most challenging game I played this year? Anyone know? What's the most challenging game I played in, in uh, 2018? That's actually a question I guess for my viewers. I don't even remember what I played this year. All right, pips and pops and paps just took me three dollars. So thank you to Pips and Pops and Paps for the tip. <laughs> okay. And I already did play, uh, um, I did play Soul Calibur 6 today, uh, Panda. That red panda. I already played it earlier. Oh shit, what happened? There you go. Chapter 2. Yeah, I played it, I played it earlier today all day and I'm playing it tomorrow. Alright, next chapter. Unbelievable drive last time. My phone won't stop ringing. This one's going to be even better. Just one thing. Did you bring sunglasses? Never mind. <laughs> never mind. 
Koenigsegg 1-1. One, one. Koenigsegg? One power for every kilo it the weighs. The Koenigsegg. Only the Swedish Ew. could come up with something so simple and so completely wild. Oh, the Koenigsegg. Oh. Head for Bambra Castle. There's a nice straight down there Read where the you can target. really open it up. So I think this person who's tipping me tonight is the person who actually used to come by all the time when I played PUBG, which I stopped doing. Now I'm playing Blackout. And it's surprising because I didn't see this person recently when I played Blackout. So if it is indeed the same person, you may want to come by night streams. Maybe next week I'll probably be playing Blackout at least one or two times. We'll see. But yeah, Blackout is way better than PUBG in my opinion. Way better, dude. Oh, and the client's coming in early, so... Sorry about the glare. Oh, fuck. Alright, then I'm gonna smash the speed target of 100 miles per hour. Oh, yes! Great. Hit a fucking building. What the fuck? I don't know why the car just did that at all. I'm probably not gonna make it now. <laughs> through this zone yeah show me that thing sticks to the road at speed oh yeah fast and tight fast and tight fast and tight how the fuck do you drive this thing <laughs> I'm doing so well All right, here we go. Got to beat the speed trap. You just drove the world's first mega car. How do you feel? Yeah, mega car. <laughs> Check back with me soon. I think I might get a Ferrari in. I probably would have three if I didn't fuck up the turn. All right, two stars. Derek loves Lemur, just did a 50-bit cheer. He says, can you put my full name? When you put me up on the leaderboard, I was wondering, have you watched Survivor? I'm currently watching this season, and John Morrison's on it. Never. I've never seen Survivor ever. Never watched the show. Even when it was new, I didn't watch it. There you go. But thank you, Derek, for that cheer. Okay. Okay. Keep doing these, I guess. It's a whole 10, 10 races back to back with these supercars. Okay, here we go. KDS asks, do I have any thoughts on if the Walking Dead franchise will come back? I, uh, I've already kind of said my thoughts already. I want the original people working on the game to get paid and actually finish the game. I don't want people, other people coming in to finish it just because people are being whiny about it. Um, so I hope that those Remember people get I their credit Ferrari in. and get their pay. I thought you could duck out for a drive in the country. You know, see how fast it goes. Driving a Ferrari and in the country. it's a 2014 FXXK, so probably pretty fast. Light it up. This thing accelerates like you won't believe. In 100 yards. All right, so ladies and gentlemen in the stream chat, for those of you who recognize this person, there was a person who I banned recently... Basically for kind of being really negative all the time. And... Oh, God. And... I gave him a million chances, but he kept being negative in the stream chat, and finally I banned him. His name was Third Eye the Third. And he basically apologized up and down and said that he would change and stuff. But I haven't gotten him back in, simply because... I don't want to have these kind of people, these negative influences in the stream chat, and they always promise they're going to change, and they don't. And stuff. Should I give him another chance? He's been asking me he just tipped me he's like man can i get back in i need to know yes or no i don't know what do you guys think you guys think that i should let the guy back in and give him another chance
Hey, that sucks. I know you're excited, but keep it on brand, yeah? Let's run it again. Try that again. <laughs> Some people are saying yes. Some people are saying no. It's going to be a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. Light it up. People are on the fence this about this guy. Like you won't believe. <clears throat> Turn right. All right. Let me focus on this mission, and then I'll I'll make a decision. Seems like this one I actually have to concentrate for. Actually pay attention to the road. And not just stick around. Well, I'm already doing way better. Miles. Alright, I didn't actually do too bad there. Oh boy. Oh, come on, I'm fucked. There's no way. I got an anonymous dollar tip. They said, you know, you get the Y button to rewind. I completely forgot. So here we go. I literally forgot about this feature. Oh my God. Okay. There. Holy shit. Thank you for reminding me whoever did that anonymous tip because I completely forgot about the rewind feature. I really did. Oh, I got invited to the Kings of Retro. There it is. All right. I knew you could do it. Now relax, breathe, and call me when you're ready for the next client. DJ Runo Chudy said, Have you ever noticed that on some of the supercars, the spoiler changes its angle to increase drag and downforce while braking? Isn't that the idea of the spoiler on the supercars, right? It's supposed to have that functionality. And Drew Bucko, <laughs> just Chudy said, What would Jesus do, dude? You're a very religious man. I think you should let him back in. If he messes up again, ban him again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not biting my nail, I got a hanging piece of skin, which is annoying the shit out of me. Oh, I got a new wheel spin. And it's credits. Okay. 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 Time to continue. What's what's the next stage gonna be? Let's find out. I just did a weird perspective. What do we got? What do we got? This next client of mine is Danish. Apparently they heard about our adventure Zenbo? with the Swedish Koenigsegg. And the Danes don't like to be out down on the road any more than they do on the football pitch. So, but... here's your next ride. You know how it works. Take the keys and go and have some fun. Don't know what the hell kind of car this is. Head south, out of the city. I programmed just sat there. What the fuck is this? No, what was... No, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get... 
back to first person. I mean to third person. How do I do it? Dude, I don't know how to change it back. How the fuck do I change this back? Ping Pong Pang 1 just subscribed to tier 1. Ping Pong Pang 1. Dude, how the fuck... How do I change... How do I get back? How do I change the fucking perspective? I don't know how I did it. I did it by accident. Now I don't know how to change it back. Right bumper? Oh my god. There we go. Well, I'm fucked it out. Now there's no way I'm gonna do it. There's no way I'm getting there in two minutes. I'll try, but there's no way. Not all that time I just lost. Okay. Let's restart. <laughs> oh my god. So thank you, Ping Pong Pang, for that sub. I appreciate it. Swag is just shooting. He says, I got Soma and Isolation for 22 bucks today. Glad I waited. I'm going to try and beat some Soma before Red Dead Redemption 2. Did you see the new Spider Man suit showing off on Kimmel? No, I did not. Indeed, I did not. I'm the music. There you go. I never turned it off. That was weird. There, only a mile. Now the straight shot. I just gotta not hit anything. So, what do you think? Zembo or Koenigsegg? Denmark or Sweden? <laughs> Don't tell me. Three stars. The client, whatever you do. Call me soon for the next one, yeah? The letter E is missing from Derek's name. Oops. I apologize, Derek. This keyboard's a piece of garbage. There it is. There you go. All right, very nice. Spin unlocked. KDS, that's one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to gaming. Um, outdated stuff. No lack of checkpoints. Right, that's a huge one. Um, required boring ass grinding. That's not good. You know what I mean? Like, there's a difference between oh, there's some grinding that's fun. Oh, grinding that's re incredibly repetitive and meant just to pad the game. That pisses me off. Um. A punk ass bitch just hit me ten dollars. Thank you very much, a punk ass bitch. Oops. Appreciate that. Thank you for the tip. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. What's the next car? Yes, I hate redoing stuff over and over in games. That is correct. Unless it's fun and challenging. But like, oh, I played for 25 minutes. Oh, I died at the last minute. Oh, replay 25 minutes of gameplay. That's my worst pet peeve in games. Have you seen the DB11 Beck brought into film a documentary? Aston Martin. Gorgeous, right? Well, I didn't want to steal all her thunder. So, I got the God of Fire instead. Aston Martin Vulcan. 820 brake horsepower, track and street legal. And... I got some rose clothes for you. All right. I want you to scream.
beam past this speed trap. You hear me? Another Let's speed go. trap. 145 miles per hour they want for this one. To do so. Wait, what? Why are they telling me to turn around? Still on the rough side of the road, I guess. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pretty cool to drive all the fast cars. I like it. I think I might have screwed up slightly. These things you can't control them, man. Once you get out of control, you're done. You gotta rewind all the way. Third out of the third shoot is why do you think DICE went with the antique times for the last two Battlefield games? I think that it made sense for Battlefield, like the last Battlefield. It makes no sense for this one. The last Battlefield made sense because everything had been modern, modern, modern. People were die just tired of it. But there was no reason to do two of them in a row. That was really stupid. Hitachi Sensei did a 100-bit series this year. You should watch Top Gear if you haven't. Um, I have never seen Top Gear Hitachi Sensei. As I've told you guys many times, I'm not really a car guy. And I don't really know much about it. Um... Chances are, if I watched Top Gear, I'd probably be incredibly bored. <laughs> and then DJ Runo just cheered. He said, track and street legal. Yeah, no one is ever going to drive the Vulcan to the store or some shit. Might as well pay the funeral for your spine, too. Okay. Now we're all right. Rock the house. It's the rock the house song again. Beautiful visuals in this game, man. Look how pretty it is. Look at those pretty graphics. Very pretty. You be rocking that house, son. Well, I definitely did it. Perfect. Now, when clients come asking what we do, I've got the photographic evidence. See you for the next one. Two stars. Two stars better than no stars. The, the worst fucking song in the game. Just The guy just fucking rocked the house over and over. He's an asshole. Shut the fuck up. All right. All right, leveled up again. A phrase unlocked, world's fastest phrase. Whatever that means. Grand Jesse James Trudy says, not a car show, it's about three old men messing around that happens to have cars in it, at least until Jeremy got fired. Oh. Well. Okay then. <laughs> All right, here we go again, keep going. What is this, stage five now? There's ten of these, so... I don't know how far into it we are. Ladies and gentlemen. It has happened again. Ladies and gentlemen. The country of Afghanistan has just tipped me $100. interested in something a bit more relaxing. A nice drive in the country, you know? <laughs> but in something elegant. Something exclusive. Something Italian. So I got a Pagani's on the Cinque. A Pagani. One of only five in existence. <laughs> Hey, we've got our reputation to consider. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite a long time since the entire country of Afghanistan has pooled their resources together to tip me. But they, they did tonight. Thank you very much to the country of Afghanistan. Thank you very much for that generous tip. Okay. Let's continue. You're Mr. Pagani. Set. Go show them how we roll at world's fastest. Alright, so I gotta get there 3.3 miles in two minutes in this Pagani. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Because 
I should have started breaking a little bit earlier. God damn it. DJ Runo Chase says Afghanistan sold all their goats to raise you money. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. No! I thought you said something, Chewie. He says, "Return it, man." And maybe like one of those mob loans you may owe someone in Afghanistan a favor. Not cool. See, if you thought you said that you weren't around during my PUBG streams earlier this year. The country of Afghanistan used to always watch me when I played PUBG, and they would tip me. And they never asked for anything more. Oh boy. Okay. Now it should be a straight shot, hopefully. None of these fucking roundabout bullshit. See? <clears throat> Isn't this relaxing? Oh yeah, very relaxing. Destroyed all the signs. Somehow I didn't lose any speed. I hit that car almost full head on and I lost no speed. Wow. Okay then. Very realistic. All right, I've got 30, 25 seconds. I don't know if I'm going to do it. This is going to be a fucking tight one. All right, I did it. Narrowly, but I did do it. Phew. I'll tell the client that this thing will give them all the relaxation they can handle. Come by for the next one. I've already got some ideas. Sure. All right, have a good night, Derek. Thanks for stopping by tonight. K. Diaz, that's one of my, what is one of my favorite all-time movies. Ghostbusters will always be one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite movie of all time. See, Money Millionaire asks, did I ever think about owning an SUV? There was only one time in my life I thought about it. It was when I used to travel to Street Fighter tournaments and drive and carpool with all my friends. And basically, I would drive. I said, man, if I got an SUV, we could have more people in here and shit. But, uh, don't do that anymore, so... Oh, right. It's about time that I got this rare spring sweater. Thank God that I earned this beautiful sweater. I'm going to put that on right away when I get to a house. DJ Runo cheered. He said, Paganis are almost made out of all carbon fiber. Don't know what car you have, but even if it's a compact, there's a good chance it's heavier than a Pagani. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Itachi Sensei, I, didn't, I did not see the Ghostbusters reboot movie from two years ago I refused to see it as soon as I, I I saw the trailer for it I said I will never see this fucking movie and I never will <laughs> you all right good to see you a Hennessy now, this Venom. next one would have been the fastest production car in the world mm. if they'd made enough of them to qualify as a production car <laughs> the 2012 Hennessy Venom GT hand built for speed and performance handed over to you for the same reason cool Daniel Swagger says the new Halloween movie is getting tons of great reviews. That's way. good. Let's see you put up some numbers. That's good. I I have to watch all the Halloween movies in order. I don't think I ever did. I know I've seen I've probably seen every single one of them at least once, but like I've never seen them all to try to make them coherent. You know what I mean? Um. On the flip side of that, I own the Friday the Thirteenth and the Nightmare on Elm Street collections and seen all those movies in order. So, Halloween's the one that I never really watched as much. I think I should, though. They are good movies. Some of them are pretty cheesy, but still good, pretty good. All right, let's see. Target's 250 miles per hour. Holy shit. Yeah, this car is fast as fuck, dude. God damn. After the roundabout, it's a straight run to the trap. Go, go, go. Dude, it's fucking better to just drive right through it. Look at that. Oh, no. I'm going to try to cross over right there.
not gonna make it. Fuck. Derek says, to answer KDS's question, my all-time favorite movie is Back to the Future. She's touchy sensei here. He said, check out The Walking Dead. No, I checked check out The Wailing, and I saw The Devil if you're into Asian horror flicks. I didn't see either of those. Chewbacca says, Michael Marvel versus Jason Voorhees, who wins in a one-on-one. -on -one. See, I don't know, because Jason eventually became like a demon, which is stupid, in my opinion. It shouldn't have been his official plotline, but he did. He became like a fucking demon and some shit. I'm gonna do the whole fucking race over. Come on, we want to show them the horizon life is out of control. Uh, I have to do the whole race over. I, I guess J Jason would win. But then Michael Myers again. What's the what's the actual lore of Michael Myers? Because they rebooted that like twice. So I don't know. Ben Boxer Cheese says I like the Godfather. Anyone else like Godfather? There's a speed trap on the Southland motorway. Let's see you put up some numbers. Okay. Kirio Niku says that the re rewinding reminds me of when I was playing the Battletoads uh, re-release. And I would be so angry at the game, I would rewind and be silent in anger. Silent anger is the is the strongest anger. You're so angry you don't even want to say nothing. You're like, fuck this. <laughs> What I need to do is drive through the roundabout and not lose control and stay on the left-hand side. After the roundabout, it's a straight run to the trap. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Now I'm good. That was the craziest thing okay. I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. I better catch my breath before the client gets two, here. Two stars. I'll see you next time. Cool. So that the third says, I'm not a car guy either, and I don't play racing games. What is it about racing games as not a car guy that appeals to you? Um, I don't know, like... For me, like, this game, the reason I like it is because it's not super serious. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I fucked up, you can rewind. It's not that big of a deal. It's more of a chill racing game. You can just enjoy a bunch of cars and a bunch of tracks. It's not that big of a deal. Versus, like, other racing games, you got to be so fucking super serious and shit. And some of the races are so insanely annoying with bullshit cheating of the AI, rubber bandage AI and shit. I hate that. So. Hey, Phil. The good news is, I ah. put your name forward for our next showcase event. Really? The bad news is, well, there isn't any bad news, really. Ah. Meet you at the starting line. I've unlocked a new showcase event. It's brand new. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, wait, there's another one. The Halo Experience Showcase unlocked. And then down here we've got the Delta Wing Showcase. I got two new showcase events I can do. That's sweet. All right, very cool. Keep going, world's fastest. The next chapter. Just keep doing this, then we'll do a showcase event. Well, I like the world's fastest, it's been pretty fun.
A Bugatti Veyron. So, I saw how much you enjoyed that Ferrari FXXK. A lot of people around the festival did too. We've been getting calls. <laughs> this is a 2011 Bugatti Veyron Supersport. Fastest production car in the world for three full years. Yours for... Don't worry. We've got time. I'll stall them if I have to. Yours for like two minutes. I want to see you... <laughs> I mean, the client wants to see you take it up into the Highlands. Technical bends and long power straights. Yeah, I think you're going to enjoy this. And they want me to keep it above 100 miles per hour. Yards. Turn right. Turn right. You asshole. At the roundabout, take the second exit. In 400 yards, turn right. Okay. This is one hell of a way to do this. <laughs> but I pulled it off. Sequence of mountain curves now. Read your line, use your brakes, keep it fast and tight. And hey, don't forget to have fun. Okay then. Oh boy! Well, that's a crippled family right there. They'll all be in wheelchairs for the rest of their lives. Also, that I could drive in this Veyron. It all makes sense. It's all worth it, right? <laughs> fucked up. So fucked up. Some asshole in the joyride cripples the whole fucking family. Oh god damn this car. I did it. I was barely on the road, but I did it. Right. Time to bring the Veyron back. Hey, come on. Bring it back. I'll have something just as good next time. I'm thinking Mercedes. A Mercedes now, huh? Okay. DJ Runo Chudy said the Super Sport in the name of the Bugatti was shortened to an SS. How the flip did the Germans get through with that? And Third Eye the Third Chudy said, can you do one race in first person view just to change things up? Uh, there's no way I can do that. I would probably drive right off the road immediately. <laughs> no way. Okay. I think there were 10. They said 10 supercar missions, so I'm almost done with this by now. Yeah.